Next, we will be talking about uh, Marvels. Um, it was announced that uh, the title of Captain Marvel 2 would actually not be Captain Marvel 2, but the Marvels. So the question has now become, who are the Marvels? Because I'm assuming at this point it might be like a team led by Captain Marvel. So the obvious answers are going to be, uh, obviously, Captain Marvel will be a part of the Marvels. I think we can say 100% chance she'll be in it. I think we can say 95% plus, because they're making a Disney Plus series for her. We're going to be looking at uh, Miss Marvel. Uh, if you're not familiar with Miss Marvel, <sighs> crap. It's been a long time since I've researched her. <laughs> I probably have done that before this. But as memory serves, she's a, a Afghanistan. She's she's American, but uh, her parents are from Afghanistan. Um, so she has to deal with the the. Uh, so it deals a lot with minority situations and stuff like that. Um, but uh, Miss Marvel herself kind of has the powers of Mister Fantastic. Uh, she is in Inhuman. She's not a mutant. Uh, and it really, it, like, she kind of came from a period where they were big into pushing the Inhumans, uh, largely because at, uh, Fox had the rights to the X-Men and the mutants. So Marvel was looking to push their alternative to mutants, so that was Inhumans for a little bit in comic books and uh, even in TV form. Uh, they pushed Inhumans a lot. Though obviously, they had their own TV series, which I'll admit I haven't seen because it looked awful. And uh, they did a lot of inhuman stuff in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which I've only seen the first few seasons of. But they definitely tackled it there, obviously, with Quake and other characters. But yes, Miss Marvel is an inhuman. How they'll play that into the MCU, I don't know. We really don't know much about it. There's a, a production photo of her in her suit. It looks excellent. Uh, but I think it's absolutely safe to say she will be part of the Marvels. Uh, next up here I have is, uh, Monica Rambeau, uh, the daughter, of course, of Maria Rambeau, Captain Marvel's best friend, and almost certainly John Rambeau, because, uh, why not throw in that crossover when you can? <laughs> uh, but anyways, Monica Rambeau, we saw her a lot in WandaVision. Uh, she actually got superhero, superheroes, superpowers, by going through, uh, the, the force field Wanda set up. She went through more than anyone else, and it gave her superpowers. Um, we saw she could see straight. She could, like, phase through stuff. She could see an alternate way, alternate visions, maybe? It's up to describe. If you saw one vision, you know what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, even at the end of WandaVision, they strongly indicate that she's going to go meet up with Captain Marvel, so I feel like she's pretty much locking it. If memory serves, her character, Monica Rambeau, did serve as a Captain Marvel for a while. That is a name that's bounced around. So uh, it seems very likely she will be a major character in that. She will be one of the Marvels. Um, who after that is far less n known. Um, I'd say those three are, like, guaranteed. Um... Another possibility I was kind of toying with of someone who might be in there, but I don't think will be, but given the comic book history, I can't say 0% chance, is going to be a War Machine, actually. Uh, probably the most famous relationship Captain Marvel was involved in in the comic books, uh, Captain Marvel Carol Danvers specifically, was with War Machine. Now, one thing I thought of was the obvious uh, age difference between Brie Larson and Don Cheadle. However, it really gets muddled here, because um, how old is the Captain Marvel character in the movies? Uh, I was actually doing the math, and what, she's supposed to be probably like 30 in the late 80s? So that would mean the character now is probably around 60? So... Uh, I guess there isn't actually a substantial age difference for the characters. That being said, I don't think they're going to bring in War Machine. I don't think they're going to pursue that relationship in the MCU like they did in the comic book. But I, you know, I want to bring it up because it's not a 0% chance either. Uh, that is a big relationship in the comic books. So, 
I mean, he did have a cameo in Falcon and the Winter Soldier, so bring him into the Marvels doesn't seem impossible. I just put a very low chance. I also know he has his own series, Armor, Armor. Oh my God! Wow, I can't talk. Armor Wars coming up in Disney Plus. So that's like I don't think that's happening, but I don't think there's a zero percent chance. Um, will there be more characters? Probably. I think we're probably gonna see Nick Fury come back. He was a big part of Captain Marvel. I think we're probably gonna see Skrulls come back, so Talos will probably be back. Um, and those are probably the biggest characters that we'll probably see in Marvels. Will there be more? I mean, they might introduce some characters. But as far as like what we know right now at the MCU, I believe that is the strongest contenders for that series.